welcome back to the channel once again if you've been with us before welcome to the channel if you've not been with us before we are Lee Allen presents this is Leanne Hi. I am Alan this is rags and as you've already seen from the title card these are our elimination chamber 2023 predictions for the WWE PLE upcoming on Sunday which Hi. I believe is the 18th I've lost track of time uh... What day? Tuesday. Tuesday. Eighteenth, mm -hmm. yeah. Eighteenth is eighteenth of February. Sunday in February. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, <coughs> before we go any further, um, don't forget to hit that like button if you like the video, if you like the content. We will need to know if you like the content, otherwise we need to sort of figure out what we're going wrong. What, we need, what you what do you like in general? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well and the notification bell. You're guaranteed to get notifications then, especially when we put our uh, reactions video up, which will be Sunday. Um, and follow us on social medias. All of our um stuff will be in the link tree uh link in the description down below um that does include every monday we put a coming soon image up so it'll show you what's coming soon for this week so if you're following my god of war playthrough if you're following Leanne's last of us playthrough which we've been putting up after the sort of episodes are airing on mondays usually um this week's a bit different because they aired last week so we kind of offset a little bit especially with the, what the hogwarts uh, legacy yeah. game as well but you're guaranteed then to know right okay so Friday, they've got God of War coming out. Saturday, they've got Batman the Board Game coming out. Sunday, we've got Elimination Chamber reactions. Stuff like that. I'm not saying that's what's coming this week, no. but just for an example's sake. So check us out on social media and join the conversation as well. We want to hear from you. We want to know what your predictions are. We want to know what you're looking forward to. We want to know what... Oh yeah, which Elimination Chamber pay-per-view throughout all of history or has play. been... Or play. Or play. Or <laughs> play. Has been your favourite from the beginning. Which one? Um, it could be the, the entire card, or it could just be the Elimination Chamber match. I know our friend Craig, his favourite one, I believe, was the very first one. Mm. Um, I can't remember who was particularly in that but, uh, one, but I think it happened at New Year's Revolution pay-per-view. Um, but yeah, so anyway, we've got five matches on this PLE play this, this year in Elimination Chamber. Two of which are Chamber matches, one of which is for a title, one of which is for number contendership. We've got one other title match occurring outside of that. We've got a mixed tag team match, and we've got two pieces of meat just colliding with each other. What's like two semi-trucks like? on a motorway. All oh, that goodness. So we're going to dive straight into it. I'm going to keep the Elimination Chamber matches for last. Yep. I've got... Just, I'm just going to suck into it. So yeah. the first match we're going to talk about on the card, I'm anticipating this is going to be quite a short video because there is only five yeah. uh, matches and I, I think I need to sort it down because I might be talking a bit too quick. You're so excited for Elimination Chamber. Yeah, I think I think I am actually. Yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's always a really good pay per view. Yeah, it is. Play. It is. It is. I mean, if I just sort of skip back to last year quickly. Yeah, um, let's we've have a got quick recap. <laughs> Drew McIntyre versus Madcap Moss, <laughs> Rey Mysterio versus The Miz, mm -hmm. no, Ronda Rousey and Naomi versus Sasha. Is this Sasha? Sonia. Sonia Deville and Charlotte Flair. Yeah, I can't even read my own writing. The okay. Usos versus the Viking Raiders for the SmackDown tag titles. We have got Becky Lynch versus Lita for the Raw Women's mm. Championship. Roman Reigns versus Goldberg for the Universal Championship, because this was pre-Belts uh, Merged. Yes. Sorry, titles. The Women's Chamber had Liv Morgan, Rhea Ripley, Bianca Belair, Do Drop, now uh, not Piper Niven. Yeah. Nikki Cross and Alexa Bliss. Interesting. In the match, and that was for the uh, number one contendership for the Raw Women's Championship at WrestleMania mm -hmm. last year. And then the Men's Chamber match was for the WWE title, which had Bobby Lashley, Austin Theory, AJ Styles, Matt Riddle, Seth Rollins, and Brock Lesnar mm. involved. So yeah, that, I remember really enjoying some of these. There's some really yeah. good spots in the men's chamber match last year, which I thought were fantastic. Um, and this year, hopefully, it won't, won't disappoint us. Hopefully. So, first off, we're going to talk about the two slabs of meat. Those two semi-trucks meeting on the motorway. Bobby Lashley versus Brock Lesnar, yeah. number three. Number three. This is the third match in the trilogy. Mm -hmm. So, the first time these guys met were Royal Rumble 2022. And it was for the, I believe it was the WWE title at that point. Got cat hair. Cat hair, too. yeah. <laughs> um, and Bobby Lashley beat Brock Lesnar. I believe it was with the help of Roman Reigns, if I remember correctly. Mm. Um, <clears throat> elimination Chamber match. Uh, elimination Chamber preview after that then. Bobby Lashley lost the title. He couldn't compete in the match because he felt concussion protocol. Yes. So they pulled him from the Chamber match. It's all coming back to me now. And Brock Lesnar won the title. Mm. And then we went into WrestleMania to unify the two titles. Then the second match took place at Crown Jewel 2022 in Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. Brock Lesnar won that match after taking an absolute beating from Bobby yes. Lashley. But he managed, he, he was in the hurt lock. He managed to tip him over and pin him. And then Bobby just beat him down after the match. Yeah. So the fallout then, obviously, the sort of 
you didn't see Brock Lesnar for much um, after that. Turns up uh, just before Rumble, mm -hmm. and he says, I'll see you in the Rumble, Bobby Lashley. Obviously, we've talked about Royal Rumble. We're not going to rehash that there. Yeah. All we will say is that when Brock Lesnar hit the Rumble, um, Bobby Lashley is the one who eliminated him, mm -hmm. which obviously sent Brock Lesnar off the rails. He started throwing stuff everywhere. It was basically a, oh, God, look out, duck yeah. kind of scenario. Yeah. So then that leads us into this. The one thing uh, I, I hate, I absolutely hate the contract signings usually. Yeah. Because they're just so forced. There's no point to them. No. They're just generally fluff filler crap pieces. Yeah. It's it's an excuse to get people in the ring to talk and chuck stuff at each other. Yeah, exactly. There's, there's no real purpose to it. It's mm -hmm. very much a MacGuffin, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty much, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Um. So we had Brock in the ring with um, Adam Pearce. Yeah. There was a table, there was two chairs with the contract. Bobby Lashley's music hits after Brock sort of taunts him and says, oh, get out your Bobby. Um, Bobby Lashley's music hits and like 10 or 12 security guards walk mm -hmm. out. They, they start lining the walkway, the rampway. Then another couple of guys walk out with the table. Another one's coming behind wheeling a chair. I'm like, this is genius. This is really good. I'm enjoying this because mm -hmm. they're doing something different. Yes. They put the table there, facing the ring. When you sit in the, in the chair, you're facing the ring and the table's there. Yeah, right on top of the ramp. Bobby Lashley comes out. Well, it's, not, it's not even really a ramp anymore. It's just well, a wall. Yeah. it's kind of what I'd call it's like it. It's small, <laughs> a very small incline if it is a ramp. Anyway. It sounds better than aisle. Entrance way. Entrance way. <laughs> sure. Um, so Bobby Lashley sits down. He's like, no, nah, that ain't no, it's going to go down. You're going to sign it. And then he's going to bring that to me. And then I'm going to sign it. Obviously, Brock Lesnar comes out. Starts beating up security guys. And then Bobby Lashley sort of back body drops him. He hits mm -hmm. a spear on Lesnar, signs it, throws a contract on Brock and walks off. Brock sort of, he's on the floor. He's, he's kind of going up. He's laughing because he's like, yeah, I've got you exactly where I want you. Yeah. They're and, both playing mind games. Yeah, exactly. One thing I didn't preface, actually, we're doing our predictions this early because if we wait until after SmackDown, then we won't have time to record Watch SmackDown, record the, the uh, predictions, edit predictions, upload predictions, and put them on social media for everyone to watch. Yeah. So what we're going to do, as always, if you've seen this before, you already know this, we're going to put anything that might happen on SmackDown, if there's new matches added, we'll put them in the description of the video down below with our predictions there to this video. Um, but yeah, as such, this was probably the last thing we're going to see of Bob, Bobby and Brock, um, of yeah. BL versus BL. Yeah, interesting that. <laughs> Complete coincidence, but... <laughs> yeah, um, before uh, Elimination Chamber. Mm. So that being said, Leanne, let me whip out my pen. Oh, the trusty pen. The pen. Pen is on. <laughs> on. On. I've turned on it's my pen. It's ready to write. Who have you got winning this match? <sighs> I think this is quite a tough one, actually. Remind me who won from the other two... Collisions. Bobby Lashley won the first one. Brock yeah. Lesnar won the second one. Yeah, so this is the rubber. But Bobby Lashley beat the hell out of Brock yeah. after the second one. I think that Bobby <laughs> could take it. I think he's he's building the character mm -hmm. with the confidence that he didn't have before the he was with MVP. Um, so at that point, he needed MVP, and now it's like he's standing up on his own two feet, and mm -hmm. he's got a voice, and he's got <coughs> he's not just a. Just a wall. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, MVP sense. has been trying to recruit him again as yeah. well. And... But All it's right. more now, like, um, it, the ball is in Bobby's court, and it's up to him. He doesn't need MVP. MVP yeah. needs him mm -hmm. more. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I yeah, think yeah. that it might be a good time for him to win and yeah. establish his do dominance in WWE. Okay. So you're going for Bobby Lashley? Yes. Okay. I am going to go opposite. Yep. Thought so. I don't, I mean, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. I like Bobby Lashley. I like this version of Bobby Lashley. Yep. But there's only so far you can push this. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we're at that point where it's probably going to get stale if he just keeps doing the same thing. Yeah. So at this point, Brock Lesnar, and I'm going to put that down as my prediction, Brock Lesnar is going to win. Okay. And then after the match, um, like, like Bobby Lashley decimated Brock yes. in the last match. That's not going to happen again. Okay. Brock's going to be ready for him. And it's going to be more of a of, of a matchup as opposed to just a beatdown, you mm. know? And um, I think Brock will win it. It might be very, um, oh, God, I actually did it. I finally did, you know, I finally yeah. got him down or whatever. I may hit him with three, four FIs, whatever. But I think Brock's going to take it. Mm -hmm. And then further down the line after that, MVP's going to be like, so you're ready to talk? Okay. And I think that's where the Hurt Business is going to come back into play. Cool. That's, that's the way I see it going. Yeah. 
I think both outcomes could be pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I, I really like Bobby Lashley. I mm -hmm. like what he's been doing recently. I really do. But I just don't think there's enough there to yeah. merit going on his own. Because he's just like, I'm Bobby. I'm a big slab of meat. No one can take me. Brr. Brr. <laughs> like... And he's done. He's gone. A lot, he has come a long way. Yeah, he's got a bit more attitude in. Yes, he does. Sense, he, he does. And I think by if he does join MVP and the Hurt Business come back yes. together, he'll be a bit more vocal about things. Mm. He won't just be like, "Yeah, sure, whatever." He'll be like, "Right, how about this instead?" Or trying to trying to steer the ship a bit better this yeah. time. Yeah, you know. Yeah, cool. Okay. Cool. Second match we've got them. Yes. <clears throat> Intergender tag match. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we've got Finn Balor. And Rhea Ripley, the Women's Royal Rumble winner for 2023 of the yep. Judgment Day. And they're taking on the Grit Couple, Love Edge that. and Beth Phoenix. Oh. So this is obviously stemmed out from, again, I'll give a very quick overview. I'm not going to go back and, and sort of recap everything. Otherwise, this video will be ridiculously long. <laughs> Edge started the Judgment Day with Damian Priest mm -hmm. <coughs> and Rhea Ripley. Uh, Finn Balor was, was feeding with them. He came out and joined them. Then they all turned on Edge, booted him out of the group. That's been the group ever since. Obviously, Dominic Mysterio has been part of this as well, um, coming into it. Um, and then they've been kind of having this feud back and forth with Edge, Finn, Dominic, and Priest, and blah, 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 blah. Uh, Rhea Ripley's obviously joined in. Beth Phoenix has obviously come down trying to try and sort of make it more of a... Because you can't hit a woman, obviously. So Beth Phoenix has come out to try and be the neutralizer for Rhea Ripley. Yep. Uh, Edge and Finn Balor fought in an I Quit match at Extreme Rules 2022. Mm -hmm. um, we, we were dead certain that Edge was going to win this yeah. until they had Edge and they, they pinned him down and they threatened to injure Beth Phoenix. Yeah. And then he was like, all right, all right, all right, I quit, I quit, I quit, just don't hurt Beth. And mm -hmm. they did it anyway. Yes. You know, cue Royal Rumble. Mm -hmm. Edge returns. Yeah. Yes. So <laughs> Not only that, Beth Phoenix shows up as well. Yep. And just starts wailing on Rhea Ripley and it's great. And obviously they've been kind of building in there, so we thought it was going to happen at Royal Rumble. I figured this match was going to happen at the Royal yeah. Rumble. I thought they were going to pull it sooner, but they didn't. And I'm kind of glad they didn't, because that Royal Rumble entry from Edge, and then seeing Beth Phoenix turn up as well at that point, it's like, oh, double surprise, it's great. Yes. Um, yeah, so, and, and obviously, go, I mean, on, on the last few weeks, I mean, it's going to be three weeks since Royal Rumble, so there's yeah. not been a massive amount of build-up is the problem. Um, Edge and Beth come out, they challenge Rhea and Finn, they're like, yeah, sure, you know, we'll have a match with you, blah, blah, blah. Um, and twice in a row, uh, Dominic's eaten the uh, the glam slam. Yeah. Um, like a little bitch. <laughs> like, like, like he is. Like he yeah. is with his little with his little little tea, tea drop. Because <laughs> he's a hardened criminal, you know, with his his flannels and his bandanas around his neck and his mullet. And his mullet. Because <laughs> that's what makes you a hardened criminal, kids. Wearing a mullet. I mean, it is a crime against fashion. It's a crime against hair. Just, yeah, it's just a crime. It belongs back in the 80s. <laughs> Don't think it belonged then, to be honest. Hey, some guys could pull it off, my friend. <laughs> not many. No. Um, I mean, yeah, like I said, there's not really been, mm. without going into the full depth yeah, of it, no. I'm not going to do that because that's going to, it's like nearly a year's worth of, <laughs> of uh, build up on that. Um, anything to add to this? Um, so obviously it's going to be, if, um, if if someone tags their partner in, the other pair will have to switch as well, so it stays. Mm -hmm. It should same be. Gender. Um, um, whether or not it'll stay that way. And there's probably definitely going to be Rhea attacking <laughs> um, Edge and Finn, <laughs> Beth attacking Finn at some point, for sure. It won't happen the other way around, obviously, for no. obvious reasons. <laughs> um, but I mean, it it just adds a bit of extra dynamic, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Bit of, <clears throat> bit of fun, and yep. I think all four of these are wrestlers that I want to see in the ring all the time. <laughs> yep. So I'm very much looking forward to this one. You do know what the biggest problem with having Rhea Ripley in this match is, right? Uh, where mommy goes, Dominic goes, Poppy goes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> What's it called? Dom Dom. Dom Dom. Where mommy goes, Dom Dom goes. I don't think Edge and Beth <laughs> don't have a, a like. A third party <laughs> assist, do they? Or do they? Maybe, Maybe. they would pull Ray? Rey Mysterio out. Maybe. I mean, Dominic costs Rey he Mysterio out. He costs Rey Mysterio his Royal Rumble spot. Yeah, so um, they could have that equaliser. I, th I still think they're building towards Rey and Dom at the Royal mm. Rumble, uh, at uh, WrestleMania. And they could do something here that would uh, help. Sorry, WrestleMania. Got a point in the sign. Got a point in the sign. Um, 
Yeah, I think that's a dead set that they're going to do that. So I think mm-hmm. if anyone's going to come out, it's going to be Rey Mysterio. Yeah, very, <laughs> very interesting. I like that. Yeah. Um, the only thing I think they need to do for Dom's character now is have real wear trousers with pockets and have her pull the pocket out <laughs> no. and Dom just walk to the ring holding it. No. No, 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 no. If anyone doesn't get that reference, go watch season one of Prison Break. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, let's not. <laughs> Who you got? Um, Edge and Beth. Edge and Beth, yep, I 100% yes. concur. Um, as much as I have enjoyed a lot of this feud, I don't want to see it going on for another like six no. months. I think it's it's <laughs> been played out enough at the moment. Edge said he's got a year left in him, mm. and I can't remember exactly when that was. I think it was on summertime. And they've written him off for three months. Yeah. So he's probably got like six left. Yeah, get something else in. You know. It'd be, it'd be nice to see him win, like, maybe the um, United States Championship. Mm-hmm. So he's not going to win the US, the major title, the, the heavyweight championship. Uh, I think a US title one could be good. Um, I don't think he'd be able to beat Gunter for the IC title. Mm, but no, but give him something. Not. Yeah. You know, I think it'd be cool. So. Yeah. Great. Okay. Um, okay, next match we've got is the, uh, what some, I guess, would class the main event. And it probably will go on last. Because it features the head of the table, mm-hmm. Roman Reigns defending his undisputed WWE Universal Championship against Sammy Uso- Sammy Zayn. I've seen pe- signs in the crowd that say honorary Zayn. <laughs> in Zayn in the membrane? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I know that's a song reference. Don't ask me what song is. I couldn't tell you. Anyway, um, again, this is kind of stand up for a rumble. We're not going to cover that fully if you want to see what we thought about that. Do you, we'll, we'll, uh, check out the Royal check Rumble, out the Royal Rumble reactions. reactions. We did mm-hmm. a video. We did. We've done multiple videos. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> um. Roman versus Sammy. Been a lot of build up. Sammy's caused problems in, in the. In caused the, problems. Caused, caused problems. I problems. could make a very inappropriate comment right now about earthquakes, which I'm not going to do. But he has caused there a are massive. Rips. Tectonic shift in, in the, the island of relevancy. Yeah, there's stuff's going down. Stuff um, is going so down. So he's going to probably take some punishment, but also... Oh, he's going to get wrecked. Deal out some punishment as well. I think he'll get some good hits in. I think so. Um, which will be super surprise of Roman Reigns, and then he'll get back on, on top of him, and he'll be like, mm-hmm. oh, where did that come from? Yeah. And then he'll get caught again. Yeah, there'll be moments Sammy's where resilient. Roman has that surprise look. Of like, oh. Yeah, yeah. Sammy's no. resilient. Like, if you want to see a really great Sammy Zayn match, one of my all-time favourite Sammy Zayn matches mm-hmm. is his match with the debuting Shinsuke Nakamura in NXT. That was fantastic. I bet. So good. So good. I Sammy wonder, can go. Sorry, I interrupted. <coughs> I was, I was it's on, off ta- topic a little. I was <coughs> wondering whether... Tangent alert. Whether Cody might be in Sammy's corner. <laughs> They had that exchange on <laughs> Raw, and I wonder whether, even if it's just a, he's going to be at ringside. In corners, probably too far, mm. doing commentary or sat at ringside. He'll be I around, can see that, okay. I can see that. Yeah. He might just show up and stand at the top of the ramp halfway it's, through the match. It's something that's been done before, if I remember rightly, Charlotte did it once, while she sat at ringside as the champion, waiting mm. to see who the contender would be. Yeah, I think she's done that a few times. Yeah, um, it's certainly a way to get Cody at the forefront, because he's not yeah. wrestling. Mm-hmm. So it's a good way to get Cody in that yeah. picture. And if you've got... Because the Usos are sort of uh, <coughs> split a little bit. So you've got one of them in Roman's <coughs> corner with um, Solo Sokoa. Yeah, Jimmy. Possibly um, Jay in Sammy's <coughs> corner. Maybe. I think Jay will not be there. No, he'll probably will. He probably won't be there. But having Cody around <coughs> would potentially lend to being an equaliser. Because even if he won't get involved or take a side in the match, he wants to see the match happen yeah, yeah. properly. Mm-hmm. Especially after with the exchange, Sammy was saying how he could take Roman Reigns, but it's the whole situation surrounding it and the game plans are what makes it uncertain. So having an equaliser there to take that game plan out of the equation might give Sammy a bit more of a fighting chance. I might get into some predictions videos because that was really good. Oh, thank you. I don't know if it'll happen, but it sounds cool to me. Take us away, Liam. Go on, keep going. <laughs> nope. I'm just going to sit back and enjoy the ride, kids. I can't read your handwriting. <laughs> no need to get personal. Damn. <laughs> yeah, Roman's going to win, though. Yeah, no, I agree with that. Roman's um, going to keep it. I think it's going to be close in the, the end. There's going to be some <coughs> nail-biting moments. Like, 
I like Sami Zayn. Like, for the most part, I like Sami Zayn. I didn't like his um, his previous character. I thought that oh, was Oh, the, was yeah, quite, conspiracy theory. The conspiracy but, guy, yeah. yeah Although I still of, want to see that film he was walking making. Walking around looking like Che Guevara <laughs> with his little cap and, and stuff yeah. on. It's, it's awful. I didn't enjoy that at all. But he can go. He's a great mm-hmm, athlete. Mm-hmm. But, but, and here's the caveat. Can you see Sami Zayn... On the front and center for the poster for WrestleMania. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. No. Nope. Can you see Roman Reigns front and center on that poster? Yep. Can you see Cody Rhodes front and center on yep. that poster? Roman next to Cody on that poster <laughs> just works. Can even so? Can you see Kevin Owens on that poster? I can. That's the thing. Closer. Kevin Owens has done a lot yeah. in this business. Unfortunately, Sami Zayn hasn't reached that pinnacle. No. And maybe he hasn't had the opportunities. Yeah, maybe. But... This could be something. Even yeah. if he loses, he's going to put up a, a hell of a fight. Yeah. He's already the people's <laughs> hero at the moment. Mm-hmm. Um, so he's, he's getting that shot in the arm. Not his time to win it, no. but he could be in the right it's, direction. It, yeah, this is potentially that springboard that starts it off. Yeah. You know, and elevates him to that level. And a few years down the line, who's to say he doesn't become big enough to win that championship and hold it? You know? Yeah. Who knows? I'll pay for it. You know? And it's in his hometown as well. Yes. Sammy Zane's from Montreal. Limitation Chamber is in Montreal. Um, he's Roman gonna get, is going to get booed. He's going to get a hell of a <laughs> pop, is our Sammy. Oh, yeah. yeah. He really mm-hmm. is. It's mm-hmm. going to be... Yeah. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, yeah, it's going to be good. Yes. I, I'm quite looking forward to that match, mm. actually. Okay. Yay. Next up, then we've got the first of our two Elimination Chamber matches. Mm-hmm. Um... I'm not going to go through the rules of the chamber matches. I'm not going to go through the stats of the cage and stuff. You know how it Long works. Long and short, six women, four pods, two start. One comes out every, I think it's three or five minutes. You have a fun light show that makes it look like they're randomly <laughs> selecting who comes out when you definitely know that they already know who's coming out next. It's elimination, pin full of submissions, yep. ref in the cage. There's no disqualifications. There we go. I've explained it all. <clears throat> so the women's chamber match is for the number one contendership for the Raw Women's Championship. As we already covered, Rhea Ripley is the uh, Royal Rumble winner for the yes. Women's Rumble for 2023. She's decided to face Charlotte Flair mm-hmm. at WrestleMania for the SmackDown Women's Championship. So as such, Bian- Bianca Belair does not have a contender. Now, Bianca Belair, though. <laughs> Hang on. So, the Women's Chamber match. Okay. Oh, yeah. Pre-face we got it, okay? some free face. Women's Chamber yeah. match. So, we've got the final four participants in the Royal Rumble, minus Rhea Ripley, obviously. So, you've got Nikki Cross, mm-hmm. Raquel Rodriguez. I keep going to go to Raquel Gonzalez. Raquel Rodriguez, Liv Morgan, uh, and Asuka. Mm-hmm. They were the final four, besides Rhea Ripley. Yeah. And then we've had two contenders who have competed to get their point uh, places in the Chamber match. That's Natalia and Carmella. So they both won their respective matches on SmackDown and Raw. So there's three from SmackDown, three from Raw. Yep. You were going to say. So <coughs> on Raw, I guess to get people geared up and because they don't have enough women on the roster, they um had the six women doing a six women tag match. Basically Raw versus SmackDown, yeah. Yeah. Um, <coughs> that's not even where I was going, was it? It was the other match Bianca they were on Belair. about. The, yeah, what was it? Bianca Belair. <laughs> Well, let's, let's, let's go back to the, okay, the, the yeah, six women that. tag first. Because it was quite fun, because you had, a, on one team, was um, Natalia, Liv Morgan, and Raquel. She so. can't read my handwriting as she's reading it off the page. It's just, if I see one letter, I remember <laughs> names. Um, which is, it's, it works as a team, they sort of work a yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Other team, then, you've got <laughs> Crazy Nikki Cross. Like, bat bleep crazy. <laughs> crazy Asuka. Like, she's going to rip your head off crazy. And Carmella. <laughs> Just stuck between the two. Insane. So, obviously, it goes a bit nuts. Asuka just ends up beating her own team up and then winning the she match. She just does beating everyone up. <laughs> it's so good. It's great. She, I, I loved it. I think she out-crazied Nikki Cross, which was brilliant. Just, yeah. I yeah. think they probably got a competition going. Yes, yeah. they did that. that was, it was quite fun. Mm-hmm. It sort of showed <coughs> everyone off before the match. Yeah. Good stuff. Mm-hmm. And then you had Bianca Belair mm-hmm. versus... No. Oh, yeah, 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 you did, yeah, it was a three-way, three yeah, you're right, yeah. So originally it was supposed to be Becky Lynch <laughs> and Bailey. Yeah. And then Bianca comes Bianca out, Belair and she's like, well, I don't yeah. feel like this is fair, blah, blah, blah. Adam Pearce like, well, let's make a triple threat. Yeah. Bianca wins, nobody joins the chamber match. If Be- um, Becky or Bailey win, all three Bs, that's really tripping me out. <laughs> Bianca, no, if Bailey or Becky win, the winner of the match gets put into the chamber match. Yeah. So there's seven women instead of six. Which, I'm not sure how they would have done that. They've done it before. The three women start. Three women start and then... Yeah, Bianca wins, which we kind of expected. (laughs) I thought it was a no-brainer. But the thing (laughs) that got me was 
<coughs> for mandatory sign point, but I don't know whether... Or if you're Rhea. This one's even weirder. I don't know if it just <coughs> came into her head or if someone backstage maybe just whispered in her ear, wouldn't it be cool if you pointed with your hair? How, you don't point, you can't point with hair, it's fluffy. So she's <laughs> standing in the ring, she's got hair in the hand and she's going... <laughs> pointing at the... <laughs> just point at the sign woman, it's not that hard. It just looked really ridiculous. It was. I. I would. I would have been embarrassed. I can, was. I felt so, embarrassed for her. <laughs> can, can we get an intervention here? Can we get Brutus the Barber Beefcake to come out and just chop that god awful <laughs> crap hair off? It. It served its purpose. Move on. Change. Get it. a new gimmick already. I mean, I, it, I'm getting tired of us saying to change the gimmick. We need to change the gimmick <laughs> of her changing the gimmick because. Even that's gone on too long. But she's not changing the gimmick. Anyway, yeah, I just, I found it really The funny. EST anyway. of WWE. The EST stands for stalest. The whippiest. The stalest. <laughs> the pointiest. The least pointiest. The boringest. Anyway. Oh, uh, yeah, so that was my, my tangent. Because the sign pointing is important. I'm going to point at the sign. That's exactly what I look like, but with... I mean, it wasn't even using the length of the hair. It was literally just that little bit. She was flipping the belt. Mine's not as long as hers, so I can't do it so far, but yeah. It's, it doesn't look good. <laughs> um, this, could, this has potential to be a good match. There's a yes. couple of duds in here. Kamala, I'm not overly fussed on. Natalia, I, I don't know what the hell... I don't like her hat. Flat cap <laughs> thing. It looks awful. Natalia has to be involved in everything. And if she gets to wear a fun hat, she's gonna... If she um, doesn't wear the hat, she's got cat ears. And speaking of bland and boring, here comes Raquel Rodriguez. She's got her back. Just, oh, oh, here's my shoulders. They're not even that impressive, love. Seriously. <laughs> Get a grip. She is quite broad, but yeah. I don't think the flexing shows off as much as no. she thinks it does. No, it doesn't. Um, Absolutely doesn't. Um, Nikki Cross, Liv Morgan, and Asuka oh. are the three rogue elements in this. They're all just different kinds of crazy. Just like... Wind them up. Let and them watch loose them go. In a cage. Yeah. It's gonna be carnage. <laughs> I kind of want Liv and Nikki to start. Yes. And just oh. just hammer tooth and nail, mm -hmm. and then ask her to come out next, and just have the three of them just buzz sawing each other and ah. Oh, so that'd be great. Uh, yes. Um. Yeah. Okay. So as always with elimination chamber matches, yeah. there's there's always gonna be a pod breakage. Yeah. Is it gonna be in this match, or is it gonna be in the men's match? Men's. Men's match, okay. Men's cool. match. Not enough big ladies in this one. That is true, yeah, that's very true. Natalia's Raquel, probably the biggest. Yeah. I think Raquel, the <laughs> marketing is bigger, but um, I, I don't think she, her character has that, the strength to break through. What? Raquel has a character? Technically, her character is that she has a back. I missed that. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think, it's just like... <laughs> Piping it in or something. <coughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. We're breaking that. It was great. I love the fact that they changed the name yes, from D-Drop because that was just trash. And she's it. Yeah, she's yeah. Um, come a long way on that. Okay, so the winner of this match, as we already covered, gets a match against Bianca Belair at the Showcase of the Immortals. The show yes. of all shows. The two-night spectacular. The biggest two-night WrestleMania of all time because that's probably mm -hmm. what we're going to start calling it. WrestleMania. Who have you got winning the Women's Elimination Chamber? There is a part of me that is terrified but wants to say natalia but okay i but. wonder if <coughs> i want to fight that because i do not want it to happen because i don't she hasn't even done much she had was up with a broken nose to be fair she always breaks her nose good to see a shana baszler how many times has she broken her nose now once as far as i'm aware there was something a while back when i think that was, was complaining was that about someone mean? making her nose whistle oh, <laughs> oh, was them. It? oh okay on um, Divas. Oh, okay. I don't remember that. <laughs> That's the thing I remember most about Divas is that whole drama with her nose getting broken. The one I remember <laughs> most is she hit me so hard I tinkled. Yeah. Oh, Natalia. Anyway, it's getting slightly off topic here. Yeah. Um, <coughs> I think that it would be cool for Asuka to get it. With the changing character now, <coughs> it could, she, could, she could take on Bianca... 
Yeah. You still don't sound sure. You still don't sound sure. You need to make a choice. One in six, who you got? No, because that'll influence you. I've already got my pick. I already know my pick. Who have you got? Let me look two seconds. Mm -hmm. Come on. That's fine. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna be brave and say Asuka and probably be wrong. What are you gonna go for? Who do you think I'm gonna go for? Natalia. Asuka. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> They're not gonna, she's come back, she's beaten all six of these competitors in this tag match. Yeah. She's got a new look, she's got a new vibe, she's, she's reinvigorated, she's yes. re-energised. There's no way in hell she's not in this match at WrestleMania. Sure. And there's yeah. no way in hell she doesn't beat Bianca Belair black and blue all over that ring. You can do it. And rip that title away from that she's grubby crazy. hair. She's crazy. She's got mist. She got, she got anger. She got... <laughs> mist is legal in chamber. Yes, it is. There's going to be a lot. <laughs> there's well, going to be at least one. We'll see. We'll see. It's probably the ref will probably have people. some tablets. And, <laughs> yeah. Anyway. It just yeah. mists so, everyone yeah. in the first, as soon as everyone comes oh, out. God. Just, just waiting at the door. Waiting just... at the door. <laughs> yes. That'd be great. Yeah, so I think Asuka's going to take it. Um, I'm Nikki it. isn't ready. No, she's going to be a they're teasing, crazy element in it. They're course. teasing this feud with um, Candice LeRae, yes. Johnny Gargano, and... and uh, God, I can't remember his name. Uh, Dexter Lumis. Yeah. Because you were saying she's playing hide-and-seek with a new friend. Mm. And then Candice LeRae comes in and she's like, what the hell are you doing? And she just starts laughing. So there's a few sat in there, so it's not going to be her. Raquel, yeah. there's no way in hell they're ready to put the title on her. No. Liv Morgan, no. again, after the dud run that she had last year. No offence to Liv. We really like Liv Morgan. Yeah, she gave it a good go. But, but that run was yeah. dud. Natalia, uh-uh. No, Kamala, uh-uh. <clears throat> not with that okay. Chin Boy, right? Yes. Remember Chin Boy? Oh, <clears throat> anyway. Yeah, great. We move on to the last match then, the men's elimination chamber. Yes. So this is unconventional. It's not for the WWE or the Universal Championship. Mm. This one is for the United States Championship. So we have Austin Theory defending his title mm -hmm. against Seth freaking Rollins, Damian Priest of the Judgment Day, Bronson Reed, mm -hmm. Johnny Gargano, mm -hmm. and Montez Ford of the Street Profits. Bronson Reed is the pod breaker. Bronson Reed, the pod breaker. Mm -hmm. I like that. Probably with help from Damien Priest is my guess. Oh, I don't know. I, mm, I think Damien Priest, he's probably going to try and just boot someone yeah. with that kick because he's a strong meal. You can do it. It's going to be one of the two of them. Yeah, the big, yeah, the I agree. I agree. Um, and then Ford's coming off one of the cages, one of yeah. the cards. Yeah. Because he's the high flyer. I think Theories might try and do some high flying. Well, we did that impressive. last year. He tried it with Brock, remember? And Brock just snatched him and, yeah. oh yeah, fight him off the top of the card. <laughs> yes, he did. Oh, that was brutal. That was so, that was so satisfying. <laughs> um, Seth could be the show stealer in this one in terms of outworking everyone because yeah. he is such a workhorse. Mm -hmm. He makes anyone look good. Yeah. And as much as I'm not a fan of Johnny Gargano, I think he's too hyped up. I think everyone's just too behind him. Mm -hmm. He hasn't really done much since he's come up to Raw. So no. this is kind of his, or return to Raw rather. This is his chance to be like, this is what I can do. Yes. Let me go. Speaking of match. winding them up earlier with Oscar and Nikki Krasner, wind yeah. them up. Wind up Johnny, mm -hmm. put him in there and the start with Seth Rollins yeah. and watch him go. I was thinking it, he could be a good starter. Yeah. Just watch him and Seth go for like mm -hmm. five minutes. That'd be great. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, Just like, I can imagine Bronson Reed <coughs> pacing back and forth in the pod. <laughs> yeah. Imagine someone locking him Scary. in and just busts out of the pod. Yeah. Like a reverse pod break. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I think this is going to be great. Yeah. Um, I haven't really got much to say about this. The problem because they're all in mm -hmm. qualifying matches. They all beat someone else to get into the chamber. Yeah. Um, Austin... It's nice that it isn't for like the heavyweight championship, mm. the 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 big one. The big one. Mm, the big it's, it's given more of the chance to showcase the yeah, mm -hmm. not quite <laughs> the ones that aren't being in that. <laughs> Top picture. That, yeah, the main event. I don't picture. want to say mid cards because they're not mid card guys. Mm. I mean, you can't say Seth Rollins is a mid card. No. no. <laughs> but, but yeah, it's that. Um, but as Miz was level. so keen to tell him on Miz TV on Raw, he's never main evented WrestleMania. Okay. Technically. Technically. Because mm, he did a. The run in. The run in. Was in the main event. So technically. But he wasn't on the poster. And that's what counts. <laughs> So, I mean, yeah, there, and there's obviously a lot of history between Austin Theory and Seth Rollins. Yes. The United States Championship go back and forth between the two of them. Mm -hmm. um, there's not really much else I can say about this. It's going to be really good. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. 
Yeah. I think Priest, again, I think Priest is going to be a dark horse. I think he's going to mm. do a lot of great stuff in this. I think he's going to really shine like a diamond in this. Yeah. And really put Judgment Day back on that plateau. Not that they're not on a plateau of sorts, no. but Finn Balor is up here. He's the first US, uh, Universal Champion. Yes. Damien Priest, former United States Champion. Uh-huh. You know, Dominic, uh, Rhea Ripley, former Raw Women's Champion, former NXT Women's Champion. Uh, Dominic Mysterio, former tag champ with his dad. <laughs> it's like Judgment Day is here and you've got Dominic's here. He's like the little And you've got Rhea, Finn puppy. and Damien up here. Yeah, he's the little tag along. <laughs> he's the, the rescue. With his little, his little teardrop. <laughs> on our next video, I might draw a teardrop Please on my Please don't. <laughs> it would suit you better than it suits him, Mike. <laughs> is it because I didn't actually grow a facial hair? <gasps> it's because I don't have a mullet. Oh. <clears throat> anyway, oh. um, who you got? <laughs> this is tough. I'm torn between two people really on this one. Tough. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't think I've got much reasoning for it, <coughs> but I think that it might be pretty cool if Montez Ford gets it. Oh, imagine. Um, just something about that. He's not like an underdog, but he's not the one you're going to expect. He's and mainly he a tag team guy. Great yeah. run for it, and with Theory <laughs> having it now, it's not that it's not a leap for Montez Ford to have it. I think. Um, wow, way to say that uh, Austin Theory sucks. <laughs> I'm sure I've made my thoughts known. He's better now yeah, than he was. He has gotten better. To <laughs> be has. fair, yeah, he has gotten better. Um, I think working with Seth and Lashley helped him a lot. Oh, definitely. Seth doesn't need it. No. Um, but we already know where Seth Rollins is headed. Yeah. He's already got his mania match locked in. Yeah, so I don't even know why he's doing this. Uh, <laughs> Priest, I think, <clears throat> doesn't need it right now. Maybe at some point. <laughs> maybe if things change with Judgment Day. Mm. I um, can't see that. I think Judgment Day will be on for a while. At least um, I hope so. I don't want them sweet-ass shirts. Bronson Reed, down the line, not yet. I yes, think. yes, I agree with that. And same with He Gargano. did some great stuff in New Japan. Um, yeah. I think it was Jonah in New Japan. He joined the G1 tournament. Mm-hmm. He had a good run in that. He's been doing some good stuff in, in New Japan, but I, yeah. I don't know why he came back to WWE. No, but he's he's already sort of <coughs> starting to show himself, but needs a bit more time, maybe. That tsunami um, off the top, my God. As soon as he starts yeah. going, he's outside of the drops. You mm-hmm. see the fans just standing up, saying, like, oh my God, what the hell is this? Yeah. Gargano, <laughs> they could do it because he's a bit of a people's choice in a way. But again, there's... <laughs> There's other stuff going the, the, on with him. Well, that's the it? thing. The thing with Gargano is he's not the people's choice at the moment. No. In it's NXT, not like it he was wants. In NXT. At the moment, I think people are actually referring Dexter Loomis. Yeah. And I think that'd be one hell of a show. Like, imagine <laughs> like a, a, a singles match. Let's say, um, let's just say, for example, Austin Theory retains, right? Mm-hmm. Gargano's facing him one on one. And, like, he gets attacked by someone he can't go in the match. Dexter Loomis replaces him. Mm-hmm. I'd rather yeah. see Dexter Loomis that without United States Championship. Have, because Dexter Loomis <laughs> doesn't talk. No. Like, that, that's, like, I want to see him wear a belt and portray everything that he wants to say without saying anything. Yeah. I think that would be just groundbreaking. I think that would be fantastic. He's got such expressive eyes. He does, he does. Yeah, I mean, going through all of them, I think it's either going to be Theory retains or Ford gets it. Yeah. I think I'm feeling more confident <coughs> in that random decision, mm-hmm. so I'm going to go Ford. You're going to go Ford? Yeah. Okay. I, I, I'm, I don't know. I feel like my logic is sound, but it's a bit of a roundabout. Yeah, way I kind of see. Yeah, I kind of see where you're going for it. Um, and there was rumor going back a few months ago that we we're going to start looking at breaking the street profits up. Mm. Could this be a rift if Ford does get it? Personally, for me, that title's not going anywhere. Okay. Austin yeah. Theory's going to manage to to retain it. I think. Um, Seth it's a Rollins. Huge feat to retain it is. In a, it is. In a um, he'll probably be like be the last one out. I think that that would be that would only be fair. I think if you, if you're having to defend your championship in this kind of match. <coughs> Putting him in first is just <coughs> saying, yeah, no, you're not. But it's not random, Leanne. Yeah. Oh, it's so random. But yeah. it's random. <laughs> like the Royal Rumble, Leanne, yeah, it's random. Champion gets in last, or he finds a way to lock himself in the pod. Yeah, and then that's where the pod breakage comes into. Yeah. yeah, so he sort of protects himself for a bit. Yeah. Yeah, cool. cool. Okay. Um, I do think we'll get to see maybe Priest and Reed have a good go at each other. Like, just because Priest's got these tall, he's muscular, mm-hmm. Bronson's got the more bulk to him. Yeah. And they'll just square off against each other, and I think that'll be fantastic. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that's our predictions. Um, Most looking forward to match. It's actually <clears throat> quite a difficult one to pick. <laughs> yeah, it really um, is. Oh, <clears throat> I think it might be the men's elimination chamber. Yeah, I agree with that. 
there's just a lot of great talent in this match. Um, and as much as I think Gargano has been overly done in NXT, mm -hmm. he has still got talent, yeah. you know? And it'll be good to see him get back to that level of talent. Because yeah. he hasn't really shown it since he's got back to, to the, 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 the main roster, in my opinion. No, definitely. Least looking forward to match. I don't know if I'm going to say it, but Bobby versus Brock. I'm thinking the same, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be a great mm -hmm. match. Yeah. But well, if we anything's going to be a dud, it's going to be yeah. that one. We thought that about the Crown Jewel match, and I yeah. thought that was a dud. Yeah. Like, it wasn't bad, but it could have no. been better. I mean, it's meat versus meat, like we were saying. It's two semis just hitting each yeah. other. Yeah. All the other matches, there is technicality <laughs> and a lot of storytelling that can mm -hmm. be done. Mm -hmm. There's storytelling that can be done with this one, but yeah, it, could, it it's might It's a bit more restricted. Punch, punch, punch. Yeah. F5. Hey. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> okay. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's our uh, Elimination Chamber predictions. Uh, take us away, Leanne. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate all of you guys. Um, and we hope that you're going to enjoy Elimination Chamber. Like we said at the beginning of the video, please like this video if you liked it. Subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified when ding we ding. drop new videos. Um, when you said ding ding, my brain went point to the sign. Um, <laughs> I don't know why that's related, but there we go. Um, <coughs> we are on the road to WrestleMania. Road to WrestleMania. Follow us on socials, our link trees in the description below. Uh, take you to our Instagram, our Twitter, our Facebook, and you'll also see our latest videos on link trees. So you can get there with an easy click. Comment on this video, like we were saying, um, what did we ask? What's your favorite elimination chamber that's happened mm -hmm. in history? Mm -hmm. Let us know, we'd be interested. Um, enjoy the event. Tune in when we come back with our predictions, which we will be hopefully getting up on Sunday this week. There's no hopefully about it. I will. Yeah, we get will. It up on we'll make it happen. I got you. I got you, fam. <laughs> we got you. And until next time, don't, point normally. Don't get locked in any pods. Don't get, don't get locked in pods. Don't point with your hair. It doesn't work. Bye bye. <laughs>